Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we are going to discuss about few more medical terminology prefix that denotes direction or position. Okay, in our previous sessions, uh, we discussed about those prefixes as well, uh, which we were used to uh, use in order to show the um, uh, number quantity, right? But in this case, in today's session, we are going to discuss about those prefixes that denote direction, position or you can say movement. Okay, so these are also very important uh, prefixes because there are various uh, medical terminology which is composed with the help of these prefixes. So what we will do, firstly I will tell you about that prefix and then later we will see few examples for that same so that whenever you find any uh, medical terminology uh, then it would be much easier for you to identify uh, with the help of prefix so better to understand what the prefix is indicating okay so we are going to discuss about that okay so the first terminology or you can say the first prefix of the terminology is cycl CYCL or you can say cycle or circle prefix is mainly used in order to show a movement in a circular motion. Okay, so whenever you want to show something in a circular direction, then in that case you will use the prefix CYCL. Now to explain it more uh, easily, what I will do, I will show you some examples. So here you can see there are, I have noted down couple of example which is started with the prefix CYCL. So let's see one by one. First one is cycloplegia. Cycloplegia. And the definition for this is paralysis of the ciliary muscle. So ciliary muscle is something uh, that is in a uh, circular, uh, you can consider it as a circular uh, muscle or uh, circular uh, flow. Okay. And further it is uh, noted down here resulting in a loss of accommodation in the eye okay so this type of uh, denotion this type of movement we can show with the help of CYCL then we have cyclopentolate cyclopentolate a medication used to dilate the pupils and temporarily paralyze the ciliary muscle during the eye examination so again we are using CYCL in order to uh, show this ciliary muscle in order to denote the ciliary muscle after that we have uh, cyclotropia a cyclotropia is a condition in which one eye turns cycli uh, cyclically inward and outward so again you can see it is showing and it is denoting the movement of cyclical cycl uh, cyclical okay so this is again considered as a cyclotropia after that we have cyclical udema which means this refers to a swelling that comes and goes in a cycl uh, cyclical pattern so whenever there is any uh, swelling that comes in a cyclical pattern then to show that uh, uh, in order to show that type of swelling we will use the prefix which is cycle c y c l okay so this is how we can use uh, c y c l uh, prefix in order to show the cyclic movement all right now let's see what other prefix we have today the other prefix is d d e which is used to denote or indicate the removal or negation of something let's say we are removing something from the body then in that case we will make the term uh, use of, uh, make the use of the term de which is in order to show the removal similarly in order to show something as a negation then we will again use the term d so let's see the examples here first example is debridement debridement so debridement means a removal of dead or damaged tissue from the bone. Okay, so whenever we are uh, removing the dead tissues from the bone, then in that case we will use the term D or you can say the prefix D in order to show the debridement of something which is the damaged tissue from the bone. 
then we have decalcification decalcification means d means again removal of calcium deposits so whenever we are uh, removing the deposits of calcium from the body then in that case we will make consider it as a uh, decalcification where the prefix d is denoting the removal after that we have dehydration dehydration means loss of water or moisture and this is very commonly used terms right dehydration let's say if uh, there is any patient who is suffering from dehydration then it means th uh, there is very less amount of water or moisture present in his body so in such condition we will uh, consider it as a decalcification okay fine then we have uh, after dehydration we have de his dehiscence dehiscence means separation or bursting open of a wound or incision so again you can see there is a term separation which is denoted with the help of d because separation is also a sign uh, also sounding like a removal separation we are separating something we are re removing something so again this term we are using in order to show removal or negation okay so all these examples are composed with the help of prefix d all right now we will see the another prefix which is dia and this is most commonly used term in medical terminology dialysis you have heard about diarrhea you have heard about right so let's see what dia means so dia prefix is mainly used in order to show uh, something as across maybe across the body across the uh, particular part of the body across the area right so in, in such case we will use the term dia so whenever you are going to denote something as across or through because through is also considered as the same right so through or across is denoted with the help of dia prefix so here I have noted down some scenarios which is uh, which is as dia fro uh, dia foresis okay diaphoresis which means excessive sweating across the body surface so here you can see the term uh, across is denoted with the help of prefix dia the body surface often in response to various stimuli in often often uh, in response to various stimuli then we have diastole diastole means the phase of the cardiac cycle when the heart muscle is relaxed and fill, uh, fills with the blood allowing blood to flow through the heart chambers so here uh, the term throw is denoted with the help of dia through the heart chamber so through or throw or across both are uh, in a same sense so whenever you want to show something through the heart chamber across the heart chamber then we will use the term dia and this is th about the dia stall post that we have dialysis which is a common term dialysis means a medication uh, medical procedure in which substances pass uh, in which substances pass through a semi permeable membrane to remove waste and excess fluid from the blood so whenever you want to purify the blood with the help of some semi permeable membrane then in that case we will use the terminology dia which is denoting across or through because here you can see a substance is passed through the through the semi permeable membrane okay so this is all about the dialysis then we have diarrhea diarrhea means the frequent passage of a uh, loose loose and watery stools indicating a condition where fluids pass through a digestive system quickly okay so this type of uh, terminology is used in order to show the term through so as i told you dia and through uh, dia through and across both both through and across is denoted with the help of prefix dia fine so this is all about for today's uh, topic because we have only three uh, we have only three we have already discussed about three points which is cycl d and dia with their meaning and examples and the question for today is what information is provided by the prefix nt and add so this thing we have already covered in our previous session 
so I recommend you to share your knowledge and put the answer for this question in the uh, comment section so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech Sherman.